Alright, welcome back to the final part of StarCraft Iergax, Return to the Past. We're supposed to destroy the Overmind as the Zerg. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why either. Maybe the mission briefing will explain this, or it is just gonna be... It's just gonna be random bullshit that we do. My queen, I am glad to see your return to Char. Despite your orders to Nargil, he has yet to find the point of origin, but Nargil believes he has narrowed the... Possible area down some. I no longer need the aid of that incompetent fool. I have the location. In fact, the human I captured was so informative and helpful, I made his death a quick one. Well, relatively quick. Yeah, he blew up his fi his uh, flame pack. Probably. He has a fire bat, after all. My queen, we beg your forgiveness for our incompetence, but please tell me what you learned from the Terran. On both Char and Kor Hall, there are deep, long canyons that the point of origin lie resides in. Not that I fully understand it yet, but it appears the power emanating from the canyon um, seems to be that of the Overmind. Overmind? My queen, the Overmind is dead. I have no sense of its power here. The Overmind was destroyed when Tassadar used the Dark Templar's power. How? Silence! I did not sense the essence of the Overmind myself, until I knew to focus all my powers toward it on Korhal. That thing is part Overmind, but it is not fully the Overmind. I don't understand it yet. Regardless what it is and what its intents are, we must destroy it to release its control on the swarm. The Terrans have launched an attack against it on Core Hall, and we will launch an attack on Char, and then hopefully it will weaken whatever awaits us on Ire enough so we have a chance of defeating it. Could it be the Overmind on Ire? Somehow resurrected. Seeking vengeance on us. Whatever is on Ire must be using those overmines on Char and Korhal to reach out over a long distance. And that means whatever that power is on Ire, it is more powerful than the overmind ever was. My brood leaves immediately. Oh, and Cerebrit. Kill Nargil. Yes, my queen. Destroy the Overmind. So, I had a look at this map. We can already see a, uh, we can already see an expansion over here, or at least a Vespine Geyser. Yeah, this is just a full expand, just right over here. Well, we have no reason to... We have no reason to not build that build there. And we have no reason to not build another uh, thing. The 
Let's just move these guys over here. Uh, build a hatchery right about here. I'm guessing for this mission I'll want to go Guardian Guardian Mutalisk, maybe Guardian uh, Hydralisk. Actually, Mutalisk would probably work better than than that, and then a uh, Hydralisk. Get Pneumonitized Carapace. Even though I don't think I'm gonna need detection on this map, and before they just have random Dark Templar for absolutely no reason, or something silly. Actually, nah, that's fine. Five, uh, yeah, five, six, and seven. Going to build under attack. Build more, build more, build more, build more. We do not have a queen's nest. We will rectify that problem very soon. Not right this second, but very soon. And then you are going to mine more minerals. go that way, put a queen's nest here, that's fine. Then we will get flyer attacks. Bum ba bum, boom bum ba bum, bum ba bum, boom bum ba bum. Wait, I don't even have a spawning pool? Okay. Spawning pool. I probably don't have an Evo chamber either. I don't know, but I'm building one. Uh, let me look. I don't have an Evo chamber, so we'll get two. Actually, let's get three. Oh. Kill. Kill. Uh, you guys move forward, actually. Get Flyer Carapace. So you... You should probably ought to get a Hydra Den, too. Uh, oh, where's the... 
Come on, spawning pool, get done. D D D D D D D. Get that, this, this, this. Get all upgrades. You guys get the mining minerals immediately. Actually, this needs saturated first. Not sure what I would want to spawn broodling on. Oh, move back. Ah. Where's the... Didn't I have an ultralisk? I don't know what I would build Hydralisks for, other than Mutalisks. Mutalisk Guardian. But we'll build some if necessary. That needs to be a thing. Right. Wait. Five, six, seven. Mutalisk. Building the sunken colony back. You are going to become a greater spire. Obviously, high, uh, zerglings are going to be a mineral dump slash extra resource that I will throw at the enemy until they die. Get in there, Ultralisk. Allocating my hotkeys real quick. So, no resources that way. Damn, that's a lot of evolutions completed at the same time. Holy hell. I kind of want to build devourers, but uh, eh, I know it's a brood war. It's a brood war specific mutation, so I will avoid it for now. For now. Oh, mutalisks. Okay, so we do need some mutal or hydralisks lurking around. M A C Actually, you know what? I just fling Zerglings at the problem. Go that way and kill what you can. We do have an upgrade advantage. That is fine. That is completely fine. Actually, you know, I think it might be better to go...
Actually, it might be better to go with uh, Hydralisk. Guardian Hydralisk instead of uh, Guardian Mutalisk. Actually, I think it is better. Uh, eight. Okay, so... Control... Nine... Zero... Two, three, four... And then we'll get, like, you guys in a control group. Nine. Let's get another three. Overlords. Oh. And we got a hold on Flyer Carapace. And Overlords. Here is absolutely a case where I would be F2A moving. At least with my, uh, at least with my lings. Oh. Ooh, everything. Everybody move into position. Sending a big force. I built a scourge. Meanwhile, get seven. More overlords. Oh, uh, what are you? doing over here? Huh. One. Two. M. A. C. Oh, it's 300. Ooh. Fling zerglings at everything. Yeah. Well, zerglings alone broke their defense. At least they broke Orange's defense. Yeah, mass zerglings with the. Uh... Yeah. Orange has just now hit two, uh, one, one. While I'm reaching guardian level, guardian, not only guardian but zerglings with ma with uh, adrenal glands, and we're going up to three. Meanwhile, let's move in here and uh... ultralisk. Hold on, help is on the way, buddy. Get in there, save our Hydralisk, or Ultralisk friend. Acquire more Vespine gas in the 
Alright, well, I need to stop saying that. I realize I'm saying that way too often. I, I, I like how the Zerg Queen wasted a parasite on one of those Zerglings. So we gotta spy on that Zergling that'll be dead in a few minutes. What are you doing? Get back in the fight. You're there to be flung into the enemy and die. Not to live. Require more Vespine gas. Z. 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 I think it's safe to say that Orange is totally dead. Oh, they're also only 1-1. One, one. Meanwhile, I have 3-3-3, three, 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 sir. Meanwhile, I have 3-3-3 three, three, three on everything. And I just keep flinging Zerglings until they die. I'm basically Zagara. I see a big ball of mutilisks coming this way, so that means we're gonna prepare to meet them with hydralisks. Also, I built a scourge by accident. F. Yep, the ball, the ball is coming this way. Too bad these Scourge don't have AoE, like, like they can if you... Speaking of Zagara, if you play StarCraft II Co-op, also known as Allied Commanders, there is an upgrade if you pick Zagara that gives Scourge AoE. Needless to say, they absolutely ravage anything in the air. Let's just build some hydras. Send them off so I can... Oh. oh! What am I doing? No, don't attack. No, no! My god. Mutalisks. Oh, no, there are hot... There are guardians. Hey, hey, hey. That's not cool. I think that thing just... I think these Zerglings just hunted down and killed a Defiler. Oh, god damn it. There's plague. Alright, we should probably try and end this as... 
Alright, we should probably try and end this quick, then. Ten... Twelve... Zergling... Zergling... Good there. Zerglings lead the charge. Guardians move forward. You guys can become guardians. Now, 2-1. We still have a huge upgrade advantage, though. And I don't think they even have Adrenal Glance yet. Actually, I should probably move these back a little. Uh, Hydra... Hydra. Uh, Zergling. Zergling. Swarm is protecting those larvae. Yeah, we got shit laying around. Just throw it. Just fling at the enemy. Fling with unrelenting fury. Fling, fling, fling. Also, this is proving to be a... This Dark Swarm is proving to be a problem here. More z sin... They've just now hit 2-2. Two, two. Meanwhile, I'm 3-3 three, three across the board. You guys just go over here. Just clean out every single thing you can. Bombard with... Keep bombarding. Get some more Mutalisks. Zergling. Hydralisk. 
how are they doing over here? They're doing splendid. I wonder if this AI is set to not have infinite resources. Normally the AI just has unlimited resources. Guardian, Guardian. Also, here's the Overmind. It just has a, f it just has like seven billion, seven billion colonies around it. So it makes, so here you either have to build Guardians or you spend a shitload of time just breaking down every single colony. I vote you just build guardians and just crush your way through everything. Oh, there's still a blue hive over here. Get rid of it. And Overmind is dead. And, oh, there's nothing. Okay. So that's the entire campaign, honestly completed in a single day. I forget if this campaign has a sequel. I'll have to look on the list of of custom campaigns that has been found. That has been uh, list of custom campaigns that have been found and rediscovered over the years. Unable to find the specified campaign map. Okay, well, whatever. I won. I feel this might have a sequel, but I'm not sure. But keep in mind also, if a playthrough of this already, of the sequel, whatever it might be, if it exists, already exists in English, then I'm not playing it. I'm just sort of playing through campaigns, either that I feel like playing through, campaigns that are good, or just ones that haven't been done. So, final thoughts on that campaign. Uh, given that it was made in 1998, it was okay, I guess, for the time. Uh, if you want to just spend an evening or an afternoon playing StarCraft and you don't want to play the base maps, I guess that's, that's an okay campaign, but uh, it hasn't aged well. And this was before Episode 1 of the Antioch Chronicles was released. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the campaign. I will see you guys next time for whatever campaign slash project I choose to do next. Farewell.